YouTube, Mike the Renai Guy here. How we doing? All right, today we have the first video of that unboxing that I did the last few videos ago um, of the three things that we got from Renai. And the first video here is going to be the condensate neutralizer. All right, again, like I, as you've seen in the first video, comes in this white box. All righty, it is the it's a condensate neutralizer. Again, all the parts prices will be in the description below, but it's an 804-000074 condensate neutralizer kit. And I'm also going to include the refill kit for the marble chips. All right. What comes with this is your actual neutralizer, two clip-on wall brackets. You get this male adapter, but it's right now it's simulating the bottom of the tankless, but we're going to go over and show you what it actually looks like. It comes with a double female adapter. Then it comes with one, two, three, which is half inch male by half inch bob. It comes with a bunch of these little, um, spray, little clips to make yourself what I, I we didn't put one there so you can show you but they give you enough for every joint it comes with this tubing about 10 feet of it and it also comes with a three-quarter by half pvc adapter all in this box this is directional and if you notice i'm going to spin this a little bit you have a the renai label here if you can read the Renai label, you're going in the right direction. But it says inlet and outlet on the actual um, tube. It comes with this wide fitting. Now, in the instruction sheet, every single explanation of the install shows this fitting. Now, you don't need to use the tubing. You can use like half inch CPVC. Because these are three quarters, so it comes also, excuse me, it comes with two three quarter by half plastic bushings. You can use CPVC, but they want you to put this bypass in. If I show you the instruction sheet, you see on every one of them it shows you a bypass, even on the back. Bypass, bypass. Basically, <clears throat> excuse me, when your condensate neutralizer is filled, now it's going to get filled up with all kinds of slime and it's basically not going to drain so it needs some place to go now remember water seeks its own level you got the tankless up here which is normally going to be here because remember this is going to be at the floor but we ain't going to do this video laying on the ground so the um unit water will seek its own level it won't go this way it'll go back through the bypass into our simulated drain the two hole uh, plastic straps do not come with it. We just did it for demonstration purposes and into our little simulated drain here with an air gap. Now, the um, what you need to do, and if you have a pool, you have one. If not, go to a pool supply. Your Home Depot has them. You want to get a pH test kit when you have to do this because, again, quite a few municipalities and code states you cannot dump the condensate all right, into the drain directly because of the pH. So you want to test what's coming out of here. Now on your RU or your RUC or your RUR or your new senseis, these things condensate a lot. Look at your drain if you have one. It's going to condensate a lot. So when this is going to get filled up, probably in about a year it's going to take but it also depends on how often you're using the unit. So you need to test the pH coming out of this to know when to swap out the uh, pellets in there. And again, the refill kit will be in the description below with a price. I think it's like 22 bucks. Um, I think this is around $62 and the refill kit's around $22. Because um, these will unscrew, dump them, clean out the inside. I would suggest doing it with like like a Fantastic or a Windex. You know, shove paper towels in there, clean it out, and then 
put your one end on, fill up your, your, uh, now what I would also suggest is to keep these, keep the little plastic plugs, because you want to plug off one end so you're not running out, you know, you're not running the pieces out of the other side. All right, so now you have your drain. So basically on the bottom, which we're going to go over and look at the unit, you have a half inch um, male thread that's coming out of the bottom of the tankless. And I mean, if you have to retrofit it, most likely there is a pipe that goes down to a drain, then you're just going to retrofit this. But come out of the bottom of the tankless to your double male, to your bob fitting, to your Y, which then will go into the condensate neutralizer, into your drain. When this thing gets clogged, or if you don't do the maintenance on it, then it'll back itself up and go through bypass and down. Now, no bypass, you're going to end up with a code that the condensate trap is, um, is clogged. All right, so uh, my son, my cameraman, is going to remove the camera. We're going to go over to our new tankless wall, and we're going to show you what um, the actual drain part looks like. So let's get over here. So here we have an RUC 98 Interior Natural. Uh, this is our new, uh, if you didn't see the first video, um, made this so that we can demonstrate the tanklesses and we can swap these out with other units. So if we come down here, we just move the cords here so we can see. All right, here's the condensate drain pipe. Okay, we have our adapter, our T, our vent, and then it will go down and it will either go out the wall to a drain. So basically, you're going to unscrew that, and that's what you have there, right there. That white plastic male fitting. Now, if it's brand new, you're going to have a black cap over that. So no matter what, you need to drain this, whether it's through the neutralizer or through... Can you get that, Michael? Or something like this. This is what you want it to look like up at the top. Female adapter. There's a, a plastic. Home Depot sells these. Lowe's. There's a washer in there. A two-inch piece. A T. A street L. Another two-inch piece. This is a vent. You can vapor lock this with a straight pipe. Even if it's going outside into dirt. This is going to be used for an interior unit and an exterior unit. Both of them are exactly the same. And then it just goes right up here. I'm holding the wires and everything at the same time. Okay. So that's just for demonstration purposes. All right. Let's get back to the board. All right. Just hold it, Michael. All right, even if you have a Renai boiler, so a heating boiler, it's the same thing. All of them are condensing. So this could be used in any of Renai's condensing tanklesses. All right, so again, everything will be in the description below, pricing, and including the refill kit. All right, YouTube, um, I, did, I started a Patreon channel. There's uh, going to be a link below to my um, Patreon, uh, not channel, my Patreon, which is basically the Renai guy. And um, I hope we're all safe out there with this pandemic going around. Um, I hope you contractors are still working. And uh, all right. Again, thank you for all the likes, the subscribes, the comments, the questions, your emails. Again, my email will be below. If you have a question, just email me. If I can't answer it through an email, I will send you my phone number and we'll go over it. All right, YouTube, you all be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.